you ever felt stuck, like you just can't start that task you've been putting off, you're not alone. Procrastination is a common challenge, but the good news is we can overcome it with some smart strategies. Let's make it simple. You and me vary and think about a roller coaster. Now, after the thrilling high, it plunges down, right? That's like our motivation levels. After a big high, we often hit a low. But here's an interesting fact. The quicker we hit that low, the faster we can climb back up. So what does this mean for beating procrastination? When you're feeling unmotivated doing something, anything, that feels a bit challenging can kickstart your motivation again. It's like giving yourself a mini motivational boost. Let's say you're not feeling up to starting a big project. You might think, I'll just clean the house or sort out some bills. But often, these things don't really help in getting you motivated. You might end up racing against a deadline or not achieving your goal, which happens to many of us. Here's a better approach. Choose to do something that feels a bit more effortful than just sitting around. And no, I don't mean doing something harmful or painful in a bad way. We're talking about healthy challenges here. For example, if you're avoiding a task, instead of choosing an easy distraction like cleaning, push yourself to do something a bit tougher. This could be a quick workout, organizing a messy drawer, or even brainstorming ideas for your project. Why does this work? Because our brains respond to what feels challenging in the moment. When you're unmotivated, doing something slightly tough can shake up your brain and body, pushing you out of that slump faster. Remember, the key to beating procrastination isn't waiting for motivation to strike. It's about taking small, challenging steps that reignite that spark within you. So next time you're feeling stuck, ask yourself, what's one slightly challenging thing I can do right now? And just start there. Before you know it, you'll be on your way to accomplishing great things. Sometimes the best way to get moving is to do something completely different, something that shakes us up a bit. This could be any activity that changes how we feel in our bodies. For example, a cold shower might sound shocking, but it can actually give us a jolt of energy and focus. Think of it like waking up your brain. When you're feeling really unmotivated, doing something that's a bit tough, like stepping into a cold shower can actually make you feel more alive and ready to tackle your goals. It's like a quick reset button for your motivation. But what about when you're feeling really low on energy or just can't seem to get started? This is where the idea of limbic friction comes in. It's a fancy term, but it's really just about the battle between wanting to do something and not feeling up for it. Sometimes you're too tired to start and other times you might be nervous or anxious about something. To make this easier to understand, let's take an example. You say you're not a big fan of exercising, but you know it's important. You aim for five days a week, but just can't seem to get going. You find yourself scrolling through your phone or doing other small tasks instead. These tasks feel easier because they don't push you out of your comfort zone. A common tip is to start small. Just do one minute of exercise. It sounds too simple, but it works. That one minute can lead to five, and suddenly you've started a workout without the overwhelming feeling. It's about taking a tiny step into that challenge and using that success to keep going. But what if even one minute feels too much? Here's where you give yourself a little push. It's about facing that internal resistance and doing a bit of exercise anyway. It might feel hard at first, but it quickly helps you come out of that unmotivated state. It's not about punishing yourself. It's about showing yourself that you can do it even when it's tough. Remember, every big achievement starts with a small step. So next time you're feeling stuck, think about what small step you can take right now. It might be uncomfortable at first, but it's the first step towards success. So what should you do when you're stuck in procrastination? Just wait for it to pass. Well, you could, but it might take a while. A deadline might force you into action, but why wait for that stress? It's better to step out of that unmotivated state quickly. The key is to find something challenging, yet safe, that really shakes you up. It could be a cold shower, a brisk walk outside, or even a quick tidy up of a messy space. Anything that feels a bit tough, but can help you bounce back faster. Remember, it's not about the challenge itself. It's about how it changes your mindset. When you do something tough, you're telling yourself, I can do hard things. And that's a powerful message. It's like lighting a fire under your motivation and soon you'll find yourself moving forward with energy and purpose.